brush together, you know. By God's grace, I am the leader today, you know. And I owe it to the people of Kenya and God who I swore by the Bible to do the right thing for this nation. I must make a contribution. It is not always that you get an opportunity like the one I have to make a difference in a nation. And I want to be understood that whatever we are proposing, we want the best for our country. From where I sit, I understand many people criticize. Wewe, nani alikuambia ati tunaitaji manyumba? Wewe, wacha hizo. You know, like for example, this fertilizer thing. Allow me this one minute. So farmers were saying, we have used DAP fertilizer for all the years. You know, we will not accept any other fertilizer. I know from where I sit as the president of Kenya that DAP is the wrong fertilizer for Kenya. Yet the farmers are asking for it. Did you want me to supply DAP fertilizer to them because they have asked? I said no. I told them we are not going to use DAP fertilizer even though you are asking for it. We are going to give you the right fertilizer. It is called NPK and that's what we are going to supply. Many of them, oh, we? today, the same farmers, you see them standing in the middle of their maze and saying, oh, this is very nice, you know, this fertilizer is very good. They're the same ones, because I cannot do the wrong thing because people are asking for it. No, I have to do the right thing. You know, I better be criticized, I better be, uh, uh, what? But I must do the right thing. And precisely why I am telling my countrymen and women, let us have a positive, honest conversation. We want to change our country. It's going to take all of us to change our country. Don't, don't let, let us not say, because I am in a privileged position, it's not my business, it's not my responsibility. How is it my business? I mean, that's, that's not how to belong to a nation, you know? A nation, a society, is measured by the quality of goods that are available to everybody. It is not measured by what the rich have. No, it is measured by what everybody can access. Mm -hmm. Education, how are we going to make sure the plan we have to raise to 80 billion becomes, how do we de deal with our health? How do we deal with our roads? How do we deal with our water? How do we deal with our electricity? How do we deal? That is what we must do collectively, and that is why we have a government. Okay. It is my plea to the people of Kenya yeah. that we, they listen to what we are saying. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much for giving us this opportunity uh, to speak to Kenyans and to also respond to questions. This, of course, goes a long way in entrenching our democracy, and we'll continue holding you accountable for the words that you say. By all means do. And the deeds of your government. Yes. And they continue asking me the difficult questions. It is good. It's that, good for me. Good that for is our democracy. job. Yes. Good for democracy. Yes. Good for openness and transparency. No problem. That's our job. Wewe fanya kazi yako? Sisi tufanye kazi yetu. And thank you very much for tuning in to this conversation with His Excellency President William Ruto this evening. Thank you for all the questions that you had shared with us earlier. Unfortunately, we were not able to uh, pose all the questions, but we hope that you've gotten sufficient answers to the questions that uh, we have asked and the answers that the President has given. Asante sana, this has been a joint...